Good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Ruben Martikan, and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the whole work that I did for, for the last year. Uh, my, uh, my capstone is about the flight controller that I created. It's going to be the brain uh, of uh, all unmanned aircraft vehicles uh, that, that, can be, that can be made. So uh, what, 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 is, what is a flight controller? Uh, in a sense, yeah, we can just take the parallels and say it, it is the brain. It does uh, all of the sensor fusion, all of the computing algorithms are integrated in, in, in this uh, tiny little module. Uh, all of the sensors, all of the peripherals are going to be in, in some way connected to this. And all of the computing is going to be done on this uh, little module. So before uh, we go further, uh, I would like to give you a brief introduction of, of, of the UAVs so uh, I can explain how the flight controller works and what, what it's going to control. So uh, we're going to, uh, I, I will try to explain that on the VTOL because uh, it's like a mixture of a quadcopter and, and a fixed wing. So if we understand uh, how, how the VTOL works, we'll just take the parallels to all, the, all of the other vehicles that are there in the market. So uh, the VTOL is just uh, like the main part is the fuse fuse fuselage that it has. Then it has the wings, like uh, on the wings there are the motors that are connected. Uh, like those motors either can be on the back, like it's in, the, in this one, or it can be on, on, on the wings as well. Then uh, we have the booms. Uh, on the, as, as, as it is a combination of a quadcopter and, and the fixed wing, it has the four uh, rotor motors as well. Uh, going forward, uh, we see that uh, in the back, uh, of course, it, it should have the tails, like uh, the ailerons uh, with, the, with the servos are going to provide all, the, all of the maneuverability. And it's, it's the help of the ailerons that we're going to drive and do any kind of maneuver that we want. Uh, going from here, I will try to explain like the simplest electronics that can be implemented on the VTOL. Uh, of course, it should have flight and mission computers. Uh, this is the flight controller that I made. This is going to control all of those motors, all of those ailerons, all of those servos, all of those sensors. Uh, like the UAV should have, of course, the battery. The battery pack, this is going to power all of the electronics that is going to be implemented on the VTOL. Uh, usually this kind of, uh, this kind of UAVs uh, have uh, cameras uh, implemented in them and they have some kind of a payload as well. Going in the back, this VTOL that I'm showing, for example, uh, is, is a gasoline powered. So it has the engine, it has the fuel tank, the fuel hatch and everything. So. Uh, in a sense, uh, if, 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 we look, uh, if we look at this, uh, we have to make a computing module that is able to control all of the uh, peripherals that are existent on this. And it should be able to maneuver, it should be able to be controlled, it should be able to be processed, and it should be able to be connected to the ground stations. And all of this is done with that small computer module uh, that is going to be implemented uh, on, on the UAVs. So uh, these, these are some examples of the, of the flight controllers that are present uh, in the market. For example, the PIXOC you have already seen in the in, in, in on the rover. Uh, the MOTEC, as Nelly showed, uh, uh, she has it in, 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 her, uh, in her fixed wing. And there are some others as well that are present. However, uh, there are some certain problems uh, with these flight controllers that I tried to solve uh, making my own. And uh, one of them is that they are not really that modular. Um, it's not that you can just uh, easily plug and play. Uh, you, have to, uh, you have to maybe soldier, you have to like, change wires and, and all of that stuff, uh, which, which makes the process longer. And if, if we uh, consider the manufacturability and the times uh, that it will take, to uh, to produce uh, pr produce a UAV for some commercial company, uh, it's not co going to be that that kind of cost effective. So this is one of the things that I tried to solve. Another one is that uh, I tried to choose and uh, I, I did the research and uh, we chose uh, one of the best 
uh, best spectrum that there is for the sensors and for, 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 for all of the components that we're going to implement in the flight control. So trying to solve this, um, I divided my work into two parts, the hardware and the software. So we have to make the hardware, like the PCB, that all of the sensors are going to be implemented on it, all of, like, uh, all of the sensors, all of the processors, all of the connectors, they, uh, it, it should be implemented on the PCB. And I tried to, uh, and, and on the next part is the software. So I had to make some kind of a software that will be able to process uh, all of the data and be able to control uh, the, the aircraft vehicles. So going into the hardware part, um, as I've already said, um, I, uh, I started my research uh, of what uh, components I can choose and what should I choose. Uh, so uh, there are some versions, for example, for a Pixog or, or for Matek that are already open source. Um, I, uh, I looked on the schematics, on the PCB designs, and tried to understand of uh, what they implemented and why they implemented. Because if we're speaking of, of UAVs, they have to be uh, really precise. Uh, they should not have any kind of problems with their computing as any kind of uh, failure in, in, in the computing module is going to be uh, just really harsh landing, let's say. Uh, on the component selection, um, uh, the component selection was, was uh, actually uh, the hardest process. Uh, it, it, it was the hardest process. Uh, because um, I went ahead, looked at the market, what flight controllers are there, made a table, uh, wrote down all of the uh, sensors, uh, all of the parameters of the sensors, the, micro pro the microprocessors, and uh, the algorithms that they are working on, so and, and made some kind of uh, optimal, uh, optimal level of what I can choose to make my own flight controller. Uh, after I chose all of the, uh, all of the components, uh, I went ahead and started my own design. Uh, I've used the Altium. Uh, it is a like, software, uh, standard software for PCB designs. Uh, I, used, uh, I used the Altium to design the flight controller. Um, you, just, you, you can see just a little bit of a time lapse of how it looks, looks like to work on the Altium. Uh, this, this is actually uh, one of the most time consuming processes for me because I had to learn the software and learn it, learn it in a way that I can make the flight controller uh, to be precise because if, we for example, if we're speaking about the signal wires or the uh, power lines, uh, they have to be for, for a certain size, they should not cross each other, so all of the data can, can uh, come to the processor and process uh, without any kind of uh, failure. Uh, this is actually a pretty long uh, time lapse, so I'll just skip on this. Uh, I'll so show the final result for the first PCB that I've designed. Uh, on this side, you can see the schematic uh, schematics of, of, of this one PCB. Uh, this is actually like uh, these this schematics are included in the paper, uh, so you can just uh, go and see of uh, what, what I chose and how I did the connections. And uh, the PCB layout is also present in the, in the paper. Uh, as, as you can see, some of the wires are longer, some of the wires are uh, wider, and all of that stuff is, is done due to, uh, due to the uh, market, uh, due to the fact that I wanted to make everything work uh, perfectly. So going forward, um, uh, going forward, I wanted uh, like the, the software part. Uh, the software part was uh, a bit challenging uh, because either I had to write from ground uh, of what kind of algorithm has to control uh, the UAV or I have to take something from open source and uh, change it in a way that it can work for my own flight controller. So. Uh, Optimally, I chose the second option uh, due to the time frames; they were very low. Um, uh, I used the uh, I used the Ardu copter, uh, the Ardu pilot. Uh, I implemented the Ardu pilot. I, I took the Ardu pilot code base, uh, changed uh, the 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 ground level so it can work on the microprocessors that I chose. 
and uh, did all of the basic setup so the algorithms can uh, perfectly work on, 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 on the flight controller. Uh, and uh, there are certain uh, pluses of the uh, autopilot as well. Uh, for example, like yeah, it has uh, great uh, mission softwares. Uh, everyone can can easily learn it and use it. They can make their own missions, tune their parameters, and all of that stuff. So uh, after combining all of this, uh, the final product that I got, uh, it's this tiny little thing. It's actually a product uh, that uh, it, uh, it's 33 millimeters wide and three, uh, 33 millimeters uh, length. And it's, it's like 1.5 centimeters in height. So it's, 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 it's really small one. And it is able to process all of that stuff. Uh, in, in, uh, so I would like to show a case of what it is made of. Um, the assembly is, is pretty interesting actually. So we have the bottom cover uh, with the bottom and top covers, of course, the first PCB uh, that I showcased earlier. Then we have actually two sponges, one here and one, one on the top, and we have the sensor, sensor flex. All the sensors are in the flex and they are isolated by the sponges. So let me uh, briefly introduce, the, briefly talk about the, the, the PCB. So this is uh, the graphical uh, look of what it looks like, uh, of, for example, that PCB design process that you saw. Uh, so it encompasses the STM32 H7 uh, processor. It's, it's 48, uh, 48, uh, 480 megahertz processor. It's, it's actually too strong, uh, too powerful for the for the Arduino pilot. However, this will provide the users to implement their own algorithms and impl implement it right into the uh, right into the uh, flight controller itself. And all of the other components are chosen uh, one of the best, if not the best, in the market that uh, we can cheaply, easily, and fastly get uh, all, of th all of the components. Uh, we, we, we talked with the manufacturers, and they have them in stock, so it can be manufactured anytime. On the connectivity side, we have the Type C that uh, that can uh, th th that will be used to, to program. Then we have the SD card that all of the UA, uh, like all of the logs will be uh, saved in them, and we have the connector in the back. Uh, this connector will provide uh, the connectivity of, of the flight controller to any kind of UAV design that uh, someone wants to implement. So uh, the manufacturer, so the uh, commercial companies can design their own uh, motherboards and just connect this, uh, connect this uh, autopilot to it. Uh, then going forward, we have the two sponges. This provides, uh, the, the, uh, this, uh, sponges provide isolation and heat dissipation. Uh, as, as the flex is not connected, is not directly connected to any part, uh, these sponges just press uh, the flex and keep it. And uh, this provides uh, dampening for any kind of vibrations that we have. Uh, going forward, it's the, it's the sensor, uh, sensor uh, sen like all of the sensoring part. It has two IMUs, uh, two ICM IMUs. Uh, they're in, like in different generation IMUs, but these are both combined for the Ardu pilot uh, with a, uh, like it, it has an extended column filter and it just integrates uh, both of the results together and uh, fuses all of the data together. It has the borrow and magnetometer as well. So uh, moreover, uh, all of the sensors have uh, heat resistors uh, in them as well, as, as, as uh, if, if, if we're powering the, the flight controller, these resistors just heat up up to 50 Celsius and uh, keep, uh, keep the temperature of the flight controller in, in that degree. Going forward, uh, I, it, like in the back, it is the connector. Like this connector just connects here uh, through the sponges, uh, which uh, dampen dampen the uh, flex. So moreover, like uh, all of the casing is made out of aluminium. This is great for grounding. Uh, to to get uh, the best uh, sensor data, we need great grounding as well. So uh, the grounding is connected to the to the case. And uh, it's just going to be a module like this. Uh, with the help of uh, using this flight controller, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, drive uh, VTOLs, we can drive uh, fixed wings, we can drive quadcopters, and even, even though it's a flight controller, our pilot 
led us to drive rovers as well. So in the end, uh, it's just, I would like to say, only one solution to autonomous vehicles that we can create. Thank you. Uh, yes, you, so you took um, uh, open source software, yes. um, you tailored it to a processor that you chose. Yes. Uh, you put it into a different form factor. Yes. Um, what's the advantage that you have? Is it the, the fact that you believe it can be, it's more modular, that you can plug it into anything? Is that your, was that the goal? It's more modular. Um, it's uh, dampening for the sensors is better. Uh, it has uh, like the heating part, heating element is implemented, so the sensor f uh, sensory data will be more accurate, and and uh, those are, are are like the, the one of the three great things that uh, I tried to implement. There are some minor things as well. For example, on the PCB design that I tried to implement to make it better. For example, on the uh, for example, on this one, we can connect up to 8S batteries on the Matek and, and some maybe it's limited to 6S batteries or, or 4S. So those kind of little things added up to creating a product that I believe can be a market challenging thing. Uh, Irakanum as by Drutsamp, uh, Ambochovin, Karalia Asel, Ida development phase of Verchatsat. Development phase of Verchatsat, uh, manufacturer in Eriat Hamapatas Hanatsvata, Boller component Nere, design Hamapatas Hanatsvata, manufacturer in Eri Head, Iran Castatalan for Karov and Arta Drel. Irakanum as by Drutsamp, Arta Drevats Chief, or Vetev Tarvas Kazbum, Sanction Adrets in her standing. Karam, but yet on so and Jamana Katever Miamsis, Megukia Samis for us a sambox yet implement on so implementation phase of Verchas Neu Arcadians, Himakatevi, Yerekami Samana Kitchen. Is Cassimastra, Chor Samso Verchan. Thank you. Mat Kart Charzeli, in Chova Paiman or what is Tamiras Nerkusi H, Yotar Seria Andrela. Seriai, Yoter or Seriai and Rala, Paimana Vorvats on Ranov, for we Nahia Centralem, Hashiota Vorovetev, Nah Bolor top standard Nera and Yoter Seriai and the drum. In Catalisa, I have Iraq Lok Hamamata Barenkam Barsra, who Testing their R link, our Arca flight controller, and even our testing or even our do pilot, it's a full. What's our routine? Our guard is off. Xan is Xan. It's a cosa. Bagastun, bane. Sorry. Yeah, resource neri. I mean, yet we use men kiran sarken kich for market standard in hava sar miban. But ka karan men compete aneng drahet. U tool tank developer nerein naev karoganan irans flight control algorithm nere implement anen eten tazkum. Aiskan meng petka irans tank room for karoganan ashkaten. Yeah, visk et GPI on vor sarke design e karel hener avra enta tren knun QB sensor neri sete ira avra plug anel. That's compatibility and compatibility chum dera. Okay. Yer pek estimate anu vor kalinin ka. Kishnasat, as by the Ritsam, Boraki Ban, on Sir Hastatelo Harsa, or Wargam Tapalu, by Sir Capstone Avartam, or Miankamis, Hastatan alone. Okay, merci. Sick motherboard, the Hammer chair, but the Maira Kansaliki head, thanks for our Takar Kunena, I think our Takar Kova Shopfellu. Our Prata Kolabor Nile, as is connector, paper image, Grillam. Connectora Utanosum Pinanos connectora. Et connectori Pinari Vera, Bolorecan Te Uart Nereca, Bolor Azad Uart Nere, Azad SPI Nere, Azad I to Sinere, Tasna Yerek Pevem output. 
բոլոր լեդերի աուտպուտները եթե կցանկանան դեվելոպերները ինչ որ ավելացնեն այդ բոլորը էս կանեկտրի վրա կա ու USB աուտպուտն էլ որ եթե ուզում են USB ով խոսեն դաժե կանեկտրի վրա կա մենց որ եթե ցանկացած մադրբորդ էս ոնց որ իրականում ամբողջ է գիտլաբում ապլոդ արել եմ մենց որ ով ցանկանա կարա վերցնի շատ հասարակ ինչ որ միատ լեյաուտ գծի դաժե սովորական փեդերով Um, fantastic work. Um, my question is, um, have you considered or have you talked to any of the drone manufacturers in Armenia to see if your product would be useful for them? Meaning it solves an issue currently, of course, uh, maybe you can't answer, but uh, does it solve something that they currently can't solve with off-the-shelf uh, items or things that aren't sanctioned? So what what I can what I will say surely is that there is a need of a product like this, and the companies that uh, that that are present in the Armenia do not have time uh, to develop it, so they better pay uh, another extra money uh, to the to, to to all of the people that uh, that are working for them to develop uh, a UAV and buy the flight controller off the market and be a little bit of uh, uh, be a disadvantage uh, be in a disadvantage but have a working product as a UAV in a shorter <coughs> period of time I talked with my supervisor I would like to thank him Tigran Bartenyan he is a great <coughs> professional uh, he advised me on everything and he is one of the main reasons why I was successful in finishing this this project Ah, no open source Ha, Նույն իրականում ընդ դեռ բաների կա որ ոնց որ ապլոդ է մարա բայց հետո մտածել եմ կարելի է ասենց ավելի լավ անել նենց հանել ոնց որ ավելի ռիլիզ չեմ արա բայց այն բեսիկը հա